useless fact about climbing mountains. When you have packaged stuff, it puffs up when you get to altitude. What does that smell like? Oh, coffee. There's a mocha and some oatmeal for you out here. Good morning world, we're having some surprise side of the Trans-Canada Highway oatmeal and mochas. Alana peed all over herself. Whoops. She pretty much demolished the bag. I don't think she has an off switch while eating peas. The off switch is when the peas run out. Yeah. <laughs> Just pure happiness in those eyes. Peas are my favorite food. Well, we are back at Lake Louise today. It is a sunny day this time, so hopefully the lake is nice and lit up. We managed to get a parking spot. We lucked out in this craziness because Anywhere near Lake Louise past like 8.30 is just madness to get a parking spot. Especially because the past like three days had been this foggy and moody and not, not good weather for, for hiking and seeing mountains and stuff. Limiting the visibility so everyone's out doing their thing today. We are going to be hiking to Lake Agnes, yeah. and then we're gonna be hiking up the Big Beehive, which should give us a nice, awesome view of Lake Louise. That's slightly different than the typical one from the Chateau Lake Louise. Alana's sporting a sweet mustache right now. Je suis français pour baguette, croissant. Je t'aime Paris. We're gonna see if we can get a better view than this. This is the classic one, but uh... Yeah! Not only are we going to Lake Agnes, we're gonna try and climb the Big Beehive, which I believe... Is that guy up there? And that should give us an awesome view of Lake Louise. What we're noticing is that the blueness, and I guess for Lake Louise it's more of a teal, it only gets better the higher up you go because of the angle of the sun, I guess. So I'm hoping it will look just like mwah. You can already tell up here it looks so much more green and pastel -y. Useless fact about climbing mountains. When you have packaged stuff, it puffs up when you get to altitude. I guess that'd be good for chips until you get to a certain altitude and then they explode. Boom. We're now circumnavigating Lake Agnes, just to the left here. And we're heading up to the big beehive. Anytime I say sweet views, like awesome views. I'm so stoked. Alana just rolls her eyes. I think it's with the hairdo. I think I'm just becoming like Californian beach bum with my lingo because of the hair. I did find an accidental dread in my hair the other day because I just have not been brushing my hair at all. By him, he means I found a dread and was horrified. I can ease your mind. Saving the best for last with these switchbacks right at the end. Need a cameraman. It's grossly underrated. So I wait for Atlanta to go ahead to get those shots. And then I sprint to catch up there. You don't need to sprint, I'll wait. Uh, feels good though. <laughs> I like when your heart's going that fast. Getting close. A 
Okay, this has given me a whole new appreciation for Lake Louise. Once you get past all the crazy busyness and you hike up here and you get this view, I get it now, wow. My left foot, got Mirror Lake hiked up from there. On my right foot, Lake Louise. Not a bad view at all. We have discovered what makes Lake Louise so weird. And photoshopped looking. It's a fact that unlike a normal lake where the sun reflects off it and you can you know see like shiny ripples and reflection, the lake's just matte. So it's just like a flat color. It's just like dead There's and no just one solid like it looks like you know like the paint tool in MS Paint it looks like someone just that's how Jenny and Greg described it the other day. Dyed it completely teal. Yeah, because there's no variation at know, all in color. It's just this is the color all the way through. It's really really cool from this angle. Like you get such a different perspective from up here because of those things. It's really one of a kind. Like I get it now. Get it. I get it. And that big old noggin of yours? It made it into my noodle. It just wormed its way in and not through my ear. Oh god, it went up my nose. We are heading back now. It is dry and hot. It always amazes me seeing this like dry crumbly dirt around us. And then seeing like snow piles and it's like 20 something degrees. Doesn't make any sense. Science, where did you go wrong? We made it back and now we're gonna go pretend like we're ritzy. And go check out the Chateau Lake Louise. Yes, I love it here in my room, four of three. Beautiful view. We checked it out. It was ritzy, bummed some Wi-Fi, wasn't all that interesting. We sat in a corner on some stairs, looking homeless while ritzy people walked by. Very much tell who's just walking through versus who's actually staying. <laughs> so, the two people sitting on the stairs eating protein bars with hiking gear on. It's Probably not, not staying there. <laughs> Making dinner in a very public setting right now in the Lake Louise village, mostly because I'm bumming some electricity because the visitor center closed and that was the only other place that had an outlet. Charging it up so I can edit tonight, we're gonna head to Moraine Lake later because we got something special in store for the next vlog. I'm just gonna tease it. While we were eating here, we came to the conclusion that I don't think many people do this on these picnic tables in not, the middle of the village. They don't break out the stove. I think this is meant to have like, you know, a sandwich that you've already packed or maybe buy a, a drink, a smoothie perhaps, and you sit and relax. You don't make Indian food on your Coleman stove. <laughs> these two guys walk by and we assume that they work here. They asked if we were from Quebec because it's normally the Quebec people <laughs> who will bum it this way. Where we said, no, we're just cheap Ontarians. I'm here in my editing booth, aka the sleeping platform in the car. I totally just realized I didn't even film an intro to this episode. Whoops. So here's the outro. If you want to go on a road trip across Canada, hit that subscribe button below, and we're going to be posting videos daily. And if you've been watching along, you've seen all the way from Ontario. And now I'm talking to you from BC. And there's plenty more adventuring to happen. Good night, guys.